Tonight, Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin also released a video addressing the culture of gun violence in the city. This comes as we inch closer to 134 homicides so far this year. CBS 42's Sydney Spencer is live in Birmingham with what was said in that video, Sydney. Carly Mayor Woodfin was surrounded by 145 firearms, most of which were AR style and Dracos. He says the problem we're seeing with gun violence is solvable, but it's going to take everyone to do their part to end it. I care about decreasing gun violence in our city. I care about decreasing crime. I care about saving lives. But hell, it's going to take more than one man. Strong words from Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin saying Birmingham is seeing the worst of the gun violence epidemic as we near 134 homicides in 2024. We're coming up on an unfortunate milestone this year in 2024 of having homicides at the rate since 1933. Tuesday, Mayor Woodfin spoke out about this in a video addressing gun culture in the city, reflecting on his own experience with gun violence, losing a brother and witnessing his sister shot at a young age, as well as losing two cousins and a classmate this year alone. Saying this while surrounded by 145 firearms taken off the streets by Birmingham police. Each of these guns you see took somebody's life. These are victims and family members who will not get the chance to see their family member, their loved one on Thanksgiving. With help from Birmingham police officer Skinner, a demonstration was shown how the firearms were often used, adding most are brought from pawn shops or across the state line in Georgia and sold to criminals on the street. Now he's calling not only on state and country legislators, but also the community to make a change. This is a solving problem in our city. This is a solvable problem in our state, and this is a solvable problem in our country. But it's going to take all of us. Now, Mayor Whiffen says the city will continue to put tax dollars towards creating conflict resolution resources available for the youth in our city. He says they will continue to recruit officers as the department continues to face a shortage. Live in Birmingham, Sydney Spencer, CBS 42 News.